From ballparks to beaches, gin distillers to hidden gems, there's another side to Liverpool that you probably don't know about. Looks like I'm spying on people. <laughs> this video will give you another side guide to the fabulous Merseyside city, Liverpool. I'm Dan from the Not Nomad and you join me in Liverpool. I'm here with Visit Britain to give you another side guide to this fabulous city. We're going to be spending the weekend here unearthing hidden gems in and around the city. Liverpool is just over a two hours train journey from London. There is also regular European flights into the city's airport. We arrived in the city at Saturday lunchtime and made our way to Rudy's Pizzeria. It offers authentic Italian and is definitely worth a visit. About a five minutes walk from Rudy's was the quirky quarter. There's gonna be some things that might confuse you guys, some things might puzzle you, some things might surprise you, but nothing's gonna jump out and scare you. I'm the scariest thing you're gonna see in here, so there's a lot of things that might be perfectly fine. We eventually found the entrance for a bookshelf and made our way into the museum. So we've come to the Quirky Quarter, which is the house of illusions. It's full of fun to try. There's loads of places where the staff will take your phone and they'll, they'll let you do the illusions. I'll pop some of them in the video now. After giving our brains a bit of a workout, the next stop was the Nakery. We've come to the Nakery. I bought it for an iced caramel latte. And I've also got a caramel and cookie dough slab. We've just checked into our apartment. We're staying at the base apartments on Duke Street. We've got a two bed apartment. Here's the second bedroom with an ensuite. And then we've also got a living area and a good sized kitchen too. And then we've got a balcony as well. We'd booked ourselves onto a city unscripted walking tour and Neil, our guide, met us at our accommodation. We made our way into the Baltic Triangle, which is full of places like this, the Hobo Kiosk. Hi, welcome to the kiosk. It's like Narnia, down a flight of metal steps in the Baltic Triangle in Liverpool with beer. The Baltic Triangle is full of colourful street art, quirky bars and restaurants. You could even grab yourself a cheeky selfie with Bob Marley. Let's drink cocktails in the yellow submarine, or well, that's what you can do in Kane's Brewery. The Triangle is definitely a hive of activity close to the city centre. We've just finished our walking tour and we're around the Baltic Triangle area. We're now going to head out into the city centre to grab a bite to eat and get a drink as well. I'd recommend the Bold Street and Rope Walks area for a drink and something to eat in the evenings. Following dinner we made our way to Ballpark, an underground bar. We had great fun releasing our inner child. Three, two, one, three. If you're yet to visit a bar like this one, I definitely recommend trying one. We've come about seven or eight miles north of Liverpool. It's very windy, but we're here at Crosby Beach. You can catch the Mersey Rail out here, and it takes about 20 minutes. We've come to see Anthony Gormley's sculptures, another place, which are 100 male sculptures situated on the beach. Following our morning on the beach, we made our way to Castle Street to Liverpool Gin Distillery. The distillery has a number of gin laboratories where you learn about the ingredients, gin's history, and make your own bottle. This is a must for any gin lover. The hardest decision I had to make was what to name my gin. I opted for Not Snowman, the name of my channel. We've just finished at Liverpool Gin Distillery. We made our own bottle of wine. So we started off by mixing our own ingredients and then yeah, we gradually distilled it bottled it and even put a wax seal on the top. We're now making our way to Panoramic 34, which offers incredible views across the city. Panoramic 34 sits on the 34th floor of the West Tower, overlooking the Liver building. This fine dining restaurant is one of the highest in the UK. I hope you enjoyed this another side guide to Liverpool and that you're inspired to visit the city.